know, I'm a little, I'm a little nonplussed. So you, you um, were a little uncertain about taking the role of, of the cop in Zodiac. I think I've been uncertain about just about every role. <laughs> my, my team calls me Mark Waffalo. Uh, so Fincher talked you into it. I mean, I had warrants out for my arrest and when I was in my uh, 20s, and so taking a cop role was like the farthest thing I, I ever saw myself doing. But you did it. And I paid, I, I, they weren't bad, they were like parking tickets. <laughs> Anyone who lives in LA has had a bench warrant. <laughs> 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 but you must have heard all the, you know, the word on Fincher, you know, what he's like to work with, uh, the multiple takes and everything. Was it true? It was more true than what they say about rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? What do they say about rabbits? <laughs> it, it, they multiply. <laughs> <laughs> it was spectacular how many takes we would do. And I, in the beginning, I, I didn't really know that. I, I knew that he would yell at people, so I, I was, I was, I, I can't handle being yelled at. Like, I just crumble. Um, and so I was scared about that, but I didn't really know about the takes. And, and it, was my, um, it was my first day. I had a long walk and talk with Jake. It was probably three pages. He, he wanted to do it in a one -er. It was a complicated dolly move with a crane arm. And, and we're like on take 45. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, you suck. <laughs> he hates you. He like knows you're a fraud. And at one point he comes, leaves the monitor, he's like coming straight for me. And I'm like, yep. I told him Sean Penn would be better in this role. <laughs> I'm gonna get paid anyway. Uh, I'm the, you know, and he, and he literally just, he walked straight toward me, he walked past me, he moved uh, a background artist literally two inches, turned around, walked back, patted me on the shoulder and went in, into his, uh, his perch. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he's a full frame director and I just happen to be about 10% of that frame. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it turned out okay. Um, so around 2002, you were diagnosed with a brain tumor. That was fun. So this is like nestled behind your ear. It was benign? It was benign. But you had to get it out. I had to get it out. And your it's wife was crazy. pregnant. Sunrise was pregnant with my son, Keen, who's here. <laughs> hey, son. And uh, yeah, it was really scary. And when I, when I had it removed, I, um, I woke up and my face um, was partially paralyzed and then just over the course of eight hours, it just was totally paralyzed on the left side of my face. And I, I mean, I couldn't even move my, my, close my eye. And I was talking like this. And I was like, oh no who is going to hire a paralyzed actor's with a paralyzed face, especially when he can't even close his eye. And uh, yeah, that, that, was a, that was a really hard time. And the recovery was really hard, and that was a, a really hard time. Uh, and I just had the most amazing partner, uh, Sunrise. Uh, It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for either of us, and uh, yeah, we we all we all got through it. Yeah, and you recovered completely, except for maybe a little hearing loss. Is that I, right? I lost my hearing. Uh, I I did make a deal with if there's an entity uh, that's greater than us, and it was like, dude, <laughs> you could take my hearing, but don't take my kid's father. And that's what happened. 
The moral of that story is to be careful what deals you make. <laughs> <laughs> I probably could have got away with less. <laughs> So the, another cool movie that you made during this time was The Brothers Bloom, which is um, Brian Johnson's follow-up to, to Brick. And it's this really fun, I don't know if it, how many of you have seen it, but it's a twisty, entertaining con man movie with you and Adrian Brody and Rachel Weisz. Um, but you went up for one brother and wound up playing the other? Something like that. <laughs> I think I might have thought I was better for uh, a part that had already been cast with a pretty sizable star, um, Adrian Brody. And yeah, he came, he's like, well, I really want you for this. And I said, uh, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> and he said, I think you can. And that seems to be a theme in my uh, career. <laughs> So you guys were running around the streets of Romania, Serbia, Greece, Montenegro. You were in Prague. How much fun was that? It was the best. It was, uh, we were there for months. I'd never really traveled uh, the world in that way. And we were like this gypsy, no, not, not gypsy. You can't say that anymore. <laughs> We were like this little Roma circle, just traveling um, Eastern Europe. Uh, and it was so low budget, and we were, it, it was just such a beautiful time. And uh, we were making this great movie with a great director, and it was so fun. And the costumes were great, and the dialogue was great. So he, he's a great writer, but were you improvising as well? Not really. He doesn't like you to improvise. Um, the trick of acting is, is to make it everything seem like you're improvising. So um, that was what we were trying to do. I mean, sometimes, I, he, sometimes I'd sort of go afield a little bit, but he, he was always like, I think it's better if he, <laughs> I think it's better like, like, like this. So what other, I was just curious, what other sets can you remember just having the absolute best time? Poor things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, like I said, I, I, love, I love to act. And uh, even when it's bad, I'm still having a great time. <laughs> um, there's certain things that are just really fun to play that are, that are just inherently fun. Um, the kids are all right. That was, that was a blast. Um, you were really, you'll see, you'll see the clips uh, coming up. In fact, we'll do it right now. We're going to look at the Brothers cool. Bloom and the kids are all right. And you'll see why I might say that he's sexy in this one. I like that. <laughs> 